Welcome all everywhere, all at once here. <laughs> Let me share my screen here. Let's start with the invocation and then I'll show you the card. This is from Anaya Khan on Mastery. Mastery lies not merely in stilling the mind, but in directing it towards whatever point we desire, in allowing it to be active as far as we wish, in using it to fulfill our purpose. Let's do that again. Mastery lies not merely in stilling the mind, but in directing it towards whatever point we desire, in allowing it to be active as far as we wish, in using it to fulfill our purpose. Mm. And we have the mastery card, which is the Eight of Coins. There's, I think she has a stylized coin in all of the many um, hmm. pots. pots that are hanging. They're and bowls. he, yeah, it's hard to tell. Oh, I guess they They're are bowls. bowls. They're bowls. Yes. Beautiful yes. bowls. They're beautiful bowls. And that's what he is, the, the craftsman is working on. And that's what this card really represents coming to the mastery. The, it's like all of the eights were about a little bit of a, I mean, they were about this action happening that we either were, if you remember the Eight of Swords, where she has the blindfold on and she can't even see a way out. It's like she has to master enough to find and still her mind to be able to come into the realization that there's, there's actually many ways out. And so that was one of the, that was the first card that we did. And then we went into the, um, the eight of cups, which was the mastery that it took to be able to walk away from something that you knew was no longer good for you, even though it, was, it felt like it was what was sustaining you. And then the grief that comes with that. And then the eight of uh, staves, I think is what she calls it, is the the one in which all of the rods, the staves, are like these burning comets flying across and all you can do when change and transformation is happening is breathe with it. Stand your into your balance of being awake and alive, but you can't, you can't always change things. That's just the way it is. And so this is the, the fullness of the eight cards the coming into the mastery, the, the, um, the earth plane of really just doing it. And as a Nikon said so beautifully in that, that quote by him, that it's, it's like it starts with the stilling of the breath, I would say, and then it comes after the stilling of the breath into the mastery of, on all different levels. And the, the level in here is the mastery between the body the mind, the heart, everything is coming into one focus. And it's not a mastery over anything. It's really a coming into unity with what is inside and what it is that you are crafting, producing, creating outside. So that it's, as they say, you're in the flow. And so when people come and they, they do, um, various sports and they get into that place that is their place of mastery when they can come into the flow of that just as the man in this card is coming into that flow of hitting his hammer examining it hitting his hammer and it's that whole beautiful sense of being immersed in your work yeah, I remember uh, when I was in college, I had a friend who was an artist, and she said she'd be painting, and all of a sudden it would be three or four hours later. 
She was just so in the flow of that creative expression. And I like this card in the traditional cards. I know there's the Eight of Coins and there's some kind of metalsmith, but we probably don't have uh, the Whirling Dervish in the background. No. And this is beautiful because here's this being who's so into the flow. He's just in that one-pointed absorption creating this just... You could do that and be like worried or have a lot of inner critic or this, but he's in it. And it's saying that that's when Rumi heard, I believe, the goldsmith hammering and he went into ecstasy and turned. So when you're in that place of mastery, when each of us are in that place of flow, it can be so uplifting and inspirational to every self inside and every self outside. Yes. Mm. Yes, and we don't even know how it's affecting other people because we're when we're in that real flow of our breath and in our own connection to our body and whatever it is that we're doing, then we affect all the people around us. So that's what this card also speaks to. And, yes, there is one more thing I will do, but I will... I will come to that in just a moment. We're going to go into the induction, and maybe I will put it up so I don't have to stop in the middle of the induction, which is, I'm going to share a song with you in the induction. So in this body, introduction <laughs> you could say when an icon says it's not just about the breath that's because that's where i would say we start so let's coming back into our bodies and we're going to start with that breath mm. and just really letting ourselves feel what it feels like to breathe into our bodies let the breath not be disconnected so that we can feel the the air coming in through our nose. We can feel the expanding of our lungs, maybe our bellies, all the way down to our bellies as we inhale, and that gentle relaxation on the exhale. So just notice all those different pieces of the breath and how it's connected into the body. It's not something you have to make happen. It's just that turning of your attention and your awareness onto the breath. And notice how when you breathe in, it's the it's like an expansion of awareness. It's like something's coming in that is allowing us to see more. And, and literally when we're moving our bodies, it has to do with like, it's much easier to breathe in and let the body move and then exhale and let the body come to rest. You can see it naturally just happens as we breathe in. If we, if we exaggerate our breath, we can feel our shoulders even kind of coming up and then coming back down on that exhale, our belly's going out. There's just this natural expansion with each inhale and relaxation with each exhale. So how we're going to take this into this body awareness connection to really uniting with our bodies into our own mastery, self-mastery of becoming one with our bodies is we're going to move the body a little bit on the inhale and we'll be coming back to rest on that exhale. And we're going to start with this, this particular beat. Um, which is faster because it will get our, our bodies moving. 
and I'll, I'll show you what the beat is as we start to play it. And then we'll move different body parts with these beats. And I'm hoping everybody can hear this. If, if you can't, can you give me a thumbs down? Okay. All right, good. So. That was an example of mastery. That's <laughs> So we've got one, two, three, four, that's the beat. And as we do that, I'd like you to align your breath to breathing in for two, out for two. And as we get into this rhythm, we're going to move on the breath in. Back. And our shoulders. Up. 
finish it out with a little bit more. just letting ourselves rest here for a moment, breathing, feeling what that was like, because to stay on a rhythm like that can be really almost discombobulating to feel that in, that out, keeping with your body. So come back now into a little bit of your own natural rhythm of breath. Maybe it's a little slower. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Maybe taking four counts to breathe in. Four counts to breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. See if we can get into that rhythm. But if you need some extra breaths, that's fine. To take a breath, maybe a longer exhale. But begin to let that rhythm extend. As you let your rhythm extend, feel into your body again, into that inhale and how the inhale really lets our body expand. The exhale lets it come back. loud enough that you can even hear it because we're not trying to do subtle breath right now we're doing that breath of mastery of like when you're really working you want to bring your breath into relationship with your body 
So we're going to bring it back into our bodies now at a slower pace. Now that we've we've gotten into just what it feels like to be in our bodies more. So we're going to let ourselves breathe in. And when we breathe in, we're going to let our arms, one arm at a time, just slowly make its way up all the way to the stretching above us on the inhale. So make that be one breath, that stretching from your arm down at your side all the way up. And then letting it in one action slowly come down for the whole exhale. So we're breathing in and you're all be at your own pace, breathing in all the way to the top and then breathing down, letting it just release and feeling the connection between the breath and the movement. Let's do it one more time with this one arm and then we'll change arms. So it's a slow movement, a slow breath. And the more that you do it, what I'd like you to do is really put your own, more of your body in it, so that you are becoming one with this movement, one with this breath. The more you expand it into a full awareness of your body, your head might want to do a little bit of moving. Even your foot. You can stand on one foot when you bring the bring it up. It's all up to you, but just find the effortless way to do this, but to do it with intention. You can imagine that you are the goldsmith hitting with your hammer, but in a very slow fashion. See what feels good in your body as you move it. This should feel good. If it feels painful, find a little bit of a different movement to expand and release. And don't quicken it up. Just let every breath, every moment of that breath be an expansion or letting go. You can do them two arms together.
arms in front, arms in back, whatever works to just let you get into this rhythm. And keep noticing, is your breath aligned with your movement? And we'll just do this for a few more minutes. with the intention of coming into a oneness with your body and your breath. Asking all the cells that might be trying to interrupt to step aside for right now. We're just here with each breath. And our bodies. Noticing all the different ways your body is interacting with this breath. And letting go. Letting all the movement go right now, just breathing naturally, coming back into that place of feeling what it feels like to be right now in your own body, in your breath. And let's get a, a chair or something to sit on. that nice rhythm of the breath, relax, being breathed, just like when you do that mirroring exercise with someone who's leading, who's following, just allowing your breath to flow in and out, this nice, rich, slow, full inhalation, bringing life energy, prana, chi in, and as you exhale, releasing, letting go, of any stress, any tension, anything ready to be released. Just do that, focusing on your heart, chest soft and porous, and this breath just flows in and out. The breath, you're that goldsmith, and the breath is just the gentle rhythm in and out of the heart center. Like there's the tide, the ocean, the wave flows in and flows out. The beautiful rhythm of breath, life, rue, spirit, coming in and out, washing your heart. If there are any cells that are busy or worrying or doing things, just reminding them right now it's safe. 
and that there's nothing to do and nowhere to go right now. They can either take a break or they could uh, just join you in this breath. And as you continue to breathe in and out, just allowing this sacred space of your heart. This may be a place you've been to before in another soul work or from a dream or a place you remembered. Or whatever place opens that's nourishing. That perhaps is this place of this creativity, of this mastery, that it can support you being in the flow in different areas of your life. It's just allowing this safe, secure, nourishing place. And there's whatever is needed there for your mastery, for your unfoldment, for your creativity to expand out in this natural flowing way. Just breathing in and out, just allowing yourself, whether you see or hear or smell or imagine or kinesthetically feel the sacred space, the garden, the workshop, the temple, the mosque of your heart. Is continuing to allow that gentle flowing of your breath, along the breath, the rhythm of your breath, the rhythm of your heart, the rhythm of the soul. And with all love and respect, we call upon High Self to come into our hearts for a time of communion, a time of guidance, a time of dialogue. We begin by just welcoming your presence in whether again, with whatever sensory modality we experience you, or just imagining, just having that intention to welcome in high self for a time of communion, just allowing the blessings to flow. As you inhale, imagine that infinity loop, bringing those blessings from high self into you. As you exhale, breathing back love and gratitude for this precious deepening relationship. Just as you continue to do that, especially allowing anything that feels pleasant, pleasurable, good with that energy, really allowing that, really breathing in that nourishment of high self, of light. Anything that feels pleasant or good as that energy infuses all the cells in your body, all the cells inside. We open to guidance and dialogue from you, beloved High Self. Any, any information, any guidance on to how to help us recognize these areas in our lives where we have such skill and mastery, areas and times in our lives where we can enter into that flow. How can you help us learn to deepen into mastery and to deepen into this flow when we're in right rhythm inside and outside?
how can we embody and bring the vision in this card into manifestation in our lives and how can we recognize places spaces times where that's has happened or already happens Perhaps it's as simple as recognizing the mastery around you, recognizing like when we did the mastery in that goldsmith, recognizing mastery we all had to get onto our Zoom screen, the mastery that Yaya had to lead us into a room with the mastery, that high self flows through guiding us, the mastery that we have just to cook a meal, just recognizing the mastery around you and allowing that to infuse you. Mastery, knowing that each of us has our own areas of mastery, whether we recognize them or not. And allowing, when you're ready, you can stay with that, you can stay with breathing, with welcoming and guidance around mastery and how to open to this flow of right action, of right expression when you take those visions and you move them into manifestation. The goldsmith has that vision of this pattern and then it flows through him. So if you want, going at your own speed, but I welcome you when you're ready to bring up a time when either in the present or some area that there's such a love and such a mastery like my artist friend just allow that to open this memory, this remembrance of time or times of mastery. And how you may, those times get absorbed, time floats away as you're in the flow, being and doing together. And if you wish welcoming in a self or self that just enjoys this, that this is their inspiration, this creative mastery, whatever it is, whatever project, whatever it's just Finding a recipe, making a meal, creating a beautiful pot, a presentation, cleaning out your garage, <laughs> whatever that mastery is, it flows, it's so different for each of us. Finding and welcoming a self that just loves and just letting this self know how much you appreciate their mastery. And just open to them to hear about their excitement with whatever this creative expression is. To so just really let them know you want to listen and know all about this and their excitement and their mastery. just open to how you can better support this one, come into relationship with this one. opening as you 
continue to commune and dialogue with this one, if they have a name or why they wish to be known. And then you can stay with this one, or when you're ready, you can open to see, as you've been opening to this one, are there other selves who aren't as comfortable, or who, there are things they need to be doing, or tasks that they can't let go of, or just seeing which self or selves, it's hard to let them make space, time, drop into the flow. Just welcoming oneself in that maybe this is hard, to let them, or they, they're not worthy, or there's not time, you have to take care of everyone else first, or whatever it is, inviting this self in. And just opening, really bringing love, empathy to this one, and just opening to their story, whatever they wish to share with you. About their struggles. Feel them really in your body, bringing that love to this one. And trying to understand what, how they distract away what's happening with them. Try to ask them what their role or purpose or function is, what they're trying to accomplish. they're afraid would happen if they weren't distracting or interfering. And really let them know you're here with high self, with other self. They're not alone. There's so many more resources now. Take a moment to hold them and to hold this one who has this mastery, this creative flow movement of life energy, and this one who that's difficult or has some restriction around it. Just holding these two selves in love. Then inviting them to really breathe into the breath with you, with high self, with any other selves. Just breathe that breath of unity so all the selves are breathing in and out together, breathing in and out of their hearts.
thanking all of them for being here today. And we'll just bring our soul work to a close, thanking all the big, deep sigh and ah. Uh, actually, let's do the sound. E Bowing down with that sound, letting it resonate in our bodies, seeing a beautiful ruby light flowing through all of you to all the selves. E and another ruby light as you come up to the outer world. E ready, taking time to reflect on your experience, whether you reflect inwardly or write something down or draw something. Taking a moment to reflect on the waking dream of your soul work. Hmm.